Hey everyone, today let's talk about the awesome TV show Cheers. There's a lot of cool stuff you might not know about it, like funny, surprising, and even sad facts. And what about those famous actors? Who did you like the most? But first, we want to hear from you. Do you have any cool stories or personal experiences with this show? Share them below. We're excited to hear from you. So get comfy, grab a drink, and let's explore the secrets and fun of Cheers together. More to come soon. One of the most loved sitcoms from the 1980s, Cheers remains a standout example of TV comedy. Spanning 11 seasons, it captured audiences with its relatable characters and clever dialogue. Led by the charismatic Ted Danson, the cast had great chemistry, making each episode a joy to watch. Set in a Boston bar, the show's premise was unique and engaging, offering a fresh take on sitcoms. Its memorable theme song, Where Everybody Knows, added to its place in TV history. Decades after it ended, Cheers still connects with viewers. The timeless themes explored in the series remain relevant, and its humor is as sharp as ever. While some characters left over the years, new faces were introduced to keep things interesting. Despite changes in the cast, Cheers kept its essence throughout, earning praise from even those who aren't typically fans of sitcoms. Its lasting appeal shows its quality and skill. While every character contributed to the show's success, notable performances by actors like Ted Danson, Ree Perlman, and John Ratzenberger deserve mention. They added depth and humor to their roles, making the show even better. In summary, Cheers is a classic example of great TV delivering laughs and heart. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to the show, its charm is sure to leave an impression. Cheers premiered in 1982 and featured Norm Peterson as one of its prominent characters. Norm Peterson was portrayed by an actor who also played the same character in six other TV series. These series include Saint Elsewhere, The Tortellis, The Simpsons, Wings, Frazier, and Family Guy. Alongside Norm Peterson, another character named Clifford C. Cliff Clevin, Jr. was played by an actor who appeared in all these series, including Cheers. The actor shared the screen with George Went in all six series. Interestingly, in the show Star Trek Deep Space Nine, a character named Morn pays homage to the alien regular scene in Quark's Bar. Cheers left a lasting legacy in television history, influencing various shows and characters across different series. Cheers, a sitcom from the early 80s, featured a core cast of actors who appeared consistently throughout its 275 episodes. Ted Danson, Ree Perlman, and George Went were the only ones to be present in every episode. John Ratzenberger missed just one episode, Sam at 11, in the first season. During auditions, potential pairings for the roles of Sam and Deanne were tested. Ted Danson and Shelley Long ultimately won the roles due to their standout chemistry. Other pairs included Fred Dreyer and Julia Duffy and William Devane and Lisa Eichhorn. Dreyer and Duffy later made guest appearances. The character Deanne often teased Sam about his strong cologne. This was a nod to Ted Danson's real-life role as the face of Arami's cologne in advertisements and commercials. Kirstie Alley, in a recent Entertainment Tonight interview, disclosed instances of sexual harassment on the set, comparing it to behavior that would make Harvey Weinstein blush. She mentioned groping, unwanted kissing, and the sharing of nude photos among cast members, asserting that it was pervasive and accepted. Interestingly, no one voiced objections at the time. As of 2005, only one regular cast member from the show has received an Academy Award nomination. That person remains the sole nominee from the original cast. Karen Valentine was among the initial choices considered for the role of Deanne, one of the pivotal characters in the series. John Mahoney, known for his role as Frasier's father in Frasier, appeared in a single episode of the show as a jingle writer. Originally, the character Dr. Frasier Crane wasn't meant to have his own series. It was after the completion of Cheers that NBC offered Kelsey Grammer his own show. Grammer's role as Frazier was only decided upon later in the development of the spin-off. Ted Danson, Ree Perlman, and John Mahoney are the only actors to appear in all 273 episodes of the series. In one of Cheers' notable moments, an alternate ending was filmed for Shelley Long's departure episode to keep her exit a secret. Originally, Sam and Deanne were to wed, but the real ending had them calling off the ceremony. During the final season, Kelsey Grammer's struggles with alcoholism affected his performance, leading to concerns from colleagues. Despite difficulties, he sought help, eventually recovering during the early seasons of Frasier. 
Interestingly, while Carla's character was Catholic, Ree Perlman, who played her, is Jewish. These behind-the-scenes insights offer a glimpse into the dynamics of the show. Sure thing, Cheers, a TV show that started in 1982, had some interesting character interactions. Dean always called Norm Norman and Cliff Clifford. Woody had a habit of using titles like Mr. or Miss for everyone except Sam, Eddie, and Carla. In one episode called I Do Adieu, where Dean and Sam almost get married, people noticed Ted Danson wearing a wig, which was unusual. Another interesting thing about the show was finding out that Rebecca's college nickname was Backseat Becky. The show had lots of funny moments and quirky characters, which made it really popular with viewers. It was Frazier's last name was initially Nye, but Kelsey Grammer suggested changing it to Crane, which the producers accepted. Ted Danson's character, Sam Malone, is a recovering alcoholic. He's often seen drinking seltzer or coffee to resist the urge to drink alcohol. Fred Dreyer, a former NFL player, was considered for the role of Sam. Although Dreyer didn't get the part, he later appeared on the show as Sam's friend Dave Richards. James Burroughs advised Danson to observe Dreyer's movements to better portray Sam's demeanor. Cheers, a sitcom that aired in 1982, holds several unique distinctions. Ted Danson and George Wendt, known for their roles in the show, both played Macaulay Culkin's father in different media. Ted appeared in the movie Getting Even With Dad, while George starred in the music video Michael Jackson Black or White. One remarkable fact about Cheers is its fluctuating ratings throughout its run. It holds the distinction of being the only sitcom in television history to rank both first and last in the ratings. The series premiered to low viewership, placing 77th on its first night. However, it climbed the ranks and reached the top spot in its ninth season. Ted Danson and Shelley Long, prominent actors from Cheers, made appearances on the show family. Ed O'Neill auditioned for the part of Sam. Shelley Long played the ex-wife of O'Neill's character on Modern Family. For half of its series run, it shared a network with Saint Elsewhere, a drama with comedic elements also set in Boston. In the second season episode Little Sister Don't Chop, Carla goes into labor and is taken to Saint Eligius. The hospital is never actually shown, but in a 1985 episode of Saint Elsewhere entitled Cheers, several doctors visit the bar and meet Carla, Norm, and Cliff. This would make it part of the theoretical Tommy Westfall universe, which allegedly encompasses several dozen TV shows. Due to the nature of filming, Nicholas Colasanto's death led to a somewhat confusing latter half of season three for his character coach. His last consecutive appearance in each episode was in season three, episode 17, The Mail Goes to Jail. The last episode filmed entirely with him was season three, episode 23, Cheerio Cheers. He also appeared in the cold open of Season 3, Episode 25, Rescue Me. Due to the aforementioned way some cold opens were filmed, the episodes in which he did not appear briefly explained where he was, usually by Sam. Finally, in Season 4, Episode 1, Birth, Death, Love, and Rice, Sam tells Woody that Coach passed away. As a nod to the character and actor in the series finale, One for the Road, Sam adjusts a picture of Geronimo, which Colasanto kept in his dressing room as a good luck charm. The picture hung up on the set of the bar and can often be seen after the actor's death. A line he had trouble remembering and wrote near the entrance to the set became a good luck charm for the cast, touching it every day as they walked in. It was later painted over when the set was repainted, upsetting members of the cast, some of which, according to Ted Danson, threatened to quit.